let's go. Rooster is the son of Goose, who was Maverick's wingman in the first Top Gun. I got your back. There's been some complicated history between Rooster and, and Maverick. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. He's an extremely intelligent and talented pilot. Jeez, Rooster, not that fast. But he has a lot to learn. Forget the book. Trust your instincts. So Rooster learns to test his own limits. Show me what you're made of. Fight on! Fellas, everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they gonna get to teach us? Phoenix is definitely a tough cookie. She doesn't underestimate anyone, and she's very loyal. You're my new backseater. He's not cut out for this mission. Don't take the bait, Bob. She's probably the leader of the group. Her leadership qualities come through quite a bit. Go call. What do we want to do? We're close. Stay on target. What have we here? That's a kill. Coyote, you're good. Coyote is very, very competitive. He always feels that he has to prove himself. Try to stay with me. This guy needs an ego check. Good to see you, Coyote. Because he can command a team, his leadership presence, it makes him one of the best pilots. We're out of time. I'm going to increase his speed. What do they call you? Bob? No, your call sign. Bob. Literally. Bob is a weapons systems officer. He's a backseater. We are two seconds behind. Increase to 489. He's dropping the bombs and being the second pair of eyes for the pilot. Be ready on that laser, Bob. Copy. Laser is a go. Direct hit. Yes. Ah, Greetings, fanboy. Today's exercise is dog fighting. We'll be getting shot down. We'll have to do 200 push ups. Damn. They don't call it an exercise for nothing, sir. Fanboy is a weapon system operator. He's a backseater. In the air, he's helping a pilot with everything in the cockpit. Check your laser. Fanboy. I got this. The mission he's training for seems almost impossible. Guys, we're from behind. But Maverick pushes his pilots to think outside the box. Push beyond your limits. We really gotta move. Who's gonna be team leader? And which one of y'all has what it takes to follow me? Let's go, let's see what you got. Hangman's coming. Hangman, he doesn't fly well with the team. Sort of lives on the edge. You put your team in danger, they couldn't keep up. He knows he's the best, and he's not here to make friends. Damn it! <laughs> Payback, you with me? Right behind you. Increase speed right now. Payback is very confident. Damn right. What's we'll say we put some skin in the game? And then as Maverick starts to test the class, you kind of see that fall apart. Payback, that's your kill. But he soon realizes there couldn't be a better instructor than Maverick. I'm going to train you to take your aircraft to the breaking point. Let's turn and burn. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Let's get to work. In this movie, Maverick is still a hot shot. He's still doing what he wants to do. Who'd you piss off this time? Another admiral. He's the ultimate aviator, and he craves adrenaline, and he craves the unknown. All right, gentlemen, fight's on. Nice. He takes risks, but he really does have everyone's best interest at heart. He is an iconic character, and he continues to test his own limits. The end is inevitable, Maverick. The kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Come on! Having any fun yet? What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they going to get to teach us? Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. I want to manage expectations. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. 
This is your captain speaking. And we're off. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Anything happens to them. You will never forgive yourself. No turning back now. Haven't any fun yet? We are cleared into the area. Verify cameras are on. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Here comes some G's. There's five G's. Six G's. Seven G's. That was awesome. I wasn't ready to make a sequel until we had a special story worthy of a sequel. And until technology evolved so we could delve deeper into the experience of a fighter pilot. The first movie became something that changed a generation. So this is exciting to come back and get in those jets again. We worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. The aviation sequences had to be real. So our actors went through three months of grueling training. The Navy says if you eject, you have to be able to survive in the water. So we had to go through that challenging underwater program. It's intense. You're flipped inverted and you're having to try and get out. From there, Tom designed this all-encompassing aviation training for all the actors. I started them out in a single-engine airplane to build up their spatial awareness inside the aircraft. Oh, wow. That's amazing! Oh, my God! Next, we took them to the L-39, and they went and flew aerobatics to feel what it's like in a jet. It's so speed. Wow. From there, they'd graduate to the F-18 Super Hornet and actually launching off an aircraft carrier. That's what I'm talking about! The actors also had to learn how to run the cameras because when they're up in the jet, they have to direct themselves, essentially. Okay, I'm rolling. I had to really teach them cinematography and the lighting so that they understood what's going to look good on camera. Sun angle's great. Everybody thought it would be impossible for actors to really be in the jets. But that's the gift that Tom gave us, that by the time we got up there, we could handle it. Definitely the most amazing thing I've ever done. All the training. 100% prepared. I'm very proud of what we all accomplished. Each one of them are extraordinary. It still blows my mind that we've done this. There's nothing like it. In Top Gun Maverick, you're going to see real actors in the cockpit and the full capability of the airplane when you're watching the movie. When you get up there, you have a new respect for fighter pilots. There's nothing like it. That's a kill. When I first found out that we had the BM jets, I was excited. Game time, baby! I didn't expect anything less because it's Tom Cruise. He does all of his stunts, so I expected us to have to do it too. But when it became real, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, okay. One of my favorite analogies that some of the Top Gun pilots have, it's like being strapped on to a dragon. I told everyone, 
If you're gonna take this role, part of it is being in that F-18. I don't know how to do it any other way. Being in an F-18 is unreal. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that people see and go, no way they really did that. And we really did that. Tom said, I need this to happen at 30 feet above the ground. He was doing 480 knots, basically a 500 mile an hour race car. I've been doing this in these airplanes for a really long time, and I watch that and I go, wow, that's fantastic. I wanted to celebrate the fighter pilot. Watching them explore what we do, it's breathtaking. Um, there's nothing like it. The Navy, the Top Gun team, oh, they're amazing.